Democratic presidential candidate Senator Amy Klobuchar previously requested money for Minnesota Teen Challenge which said Pokemon is demonic. Scott Eisen, Getty Images, Democratic presidential hopeful Amy Klobuchar requested half a million dollars in 2008 for an anti-gay religious rehab program that claimed Pokemon leads to drug addiction. Senator Amy Klobuchar tried to earmark $500,000 for Minnesota Teen Challenge MNTC, an anti-LGBT ministry which offers rehab services and drug addiction prevention programs in schools. Earmarking is a practice, now used less often, which allows lawmakers to put aside federal money for projects that are important to them. According to paperwork from the senator's website, accessed by the intercept and captured by the Wayback Machine, Amy Klobuchar requested the money for the fiscal year 2009 for the Minnesota Teen Challenge to expand their drug prevention education efforts for teenagers via its Know the Truth prevention program. An MNTC newsletter from the same year reads, One of the goals of the Satanic Church is to make evil cute and cuddly. They are accomplishing this goal through games such as Pokemon, Dungeons and Dragons, Magic, and Ouija boards. Televisions of shows about witchcraft including Sabrina and Buffy the Vampire Slayer, popular children's books like Harry Potter have real demonic spells included. Secular music is becoming increasingly evil. Marilyn Manson has satanic altar calls at his concerts. Much of what our society reads, watches, and listens to is demonically influenced. Also from around the same time and accessed by The Intercept, an application form for a teen rehab program lists problems young people may have struggled with, including stealing, eating disorders, and homoality. A letter in the pamphlet from Rich Sherber, MNTC director then and now, states, Our children are being desensitized to the evil and corruption all around them. Music continues to scream messages of hate and violence. Pokemon is loaded in demonic symbolism and evil power. Magic cards are based on supernatural power and teach witchcraft. Television glamorizes and glorifies. Everywhere around us, compromise is normal, evil accepted, and the mention of Jesus Christ hushed. These games are pure and simply divination. Teen Challenge is an essential tool used by God to rescue those whose lives have been destroyed by Satan, while evidence of these beliefs are not easily available now on either the MNTC website or the website of its Know the Truth program. Clients and rehab programs are still prohibited from bringing secular music and clothing with skulls. In its FAQ section, the organization claims, we are chemical dependency program, we do not discriminate based on UAL orientation. However MNTC is operated by Assemblies of God, the largest Pentecostal denomination in the world, which is vehemently against LGBT people. The Assemblies of God position, paper on, homoality, marriage and UAL identity, reads, The Assemblies of God affirms the UAL complementarity of man and woman and teaches that any and all same UAL attractions are to be resisted. Consequently, believers are to refrain from any and all same UAL acts or conduct, which are intrinsically disordered. It also states, the fellowship supports the dignity of individual persons affirming their biological and discouraging any and all attempts to physically change, alter, or disagree with their predominant biological, including but not limited to elective reassignment, transvestite, transgender, or non-binary, gender or queer, acts or conduct. Minnesota Senator Scott Dibble argued against state funding going to MNTC in 2013. He told MinPost at the time, when a gay person is immersed in an environment like that, they can't help but think there's something deeply wrong with them. Some of those homophobic values are inseparable from their approach. It does not work for the GLBT person.